was born one morning neath the sun and the heat, the proud grandson of an Indian chief. The Cherokee tribe from which he came was the first to learn of his famous name, Sonny Six Killer. He grew up strong into a proud young man, a determined breed, he left his land, put down his arrows, hung up his shield, and became a warrior on the football field, Sonny Six Killer. Came time for college and recruits were called. They passed him by, thought he was too small. To way up north, I heard a scout one day say, Coach Jim Owens wants the Indian brave. Sonny Six Killer. So he came to Seattle, joined the Husky team. In purple and gold, he looked mighty mean. In practice, he could pass. He was quick to attack. So the coach put him in as their quarterback. In the first big game against Michigan State, the Huskies were out to set the record straight. One win, nine losses in the year 69 was why he now stood behind a seven-man line. Sonny Six Killer. Inside two minutes of the opening play, he threw a touchdown pass and they were on their way. He threw two more and was still growing strong. The crowd kept roaring, he could do no wrong. Jarvis, Janet, Jones and Cornell, Burmeister, Wheeler, Hammond and Bell. Two tons of Huskies fought thunder and steel and when the gun finally sounded and the battle was stilled. The scoreboard read, Spartan 16, Huskies 42. <laughs> warrior every Saturday, see, he wears a big number six on his purple jersey. In his blood flows the spirit to win this proud grandson of a Cherokee Indian, Sonny Six Killer.